What up, it's Esteban. I'm a producer here on the Hip Hop Shop on Fuse. Right now, I'm gonna catch you up to speed on all the big topics that got the hip hop world buzzing this week. It's the Rap Report. Chris Brown and Rihanna are back together, musically that is, and the world is either pissed off or they don't care. The couple released his and her remixes on the three-year anniversary of the tragic event that took place Grammy weekend. Has enough time passed for this couple to reunite via remixes? Should Rihanna forgiving Chris be enough for the world to forgive him? Is this even any of our business? In my opinion, the mistake you make as a teenager shouldn't warrant you ineligible for a second chance for the rest of your life. I think Chris has paid his court-appointed debt to society and has obviously won the forgiveness of the person most affected by his action. Maybe I'm wrong maybe not hit me on twitter and tell me what you think one of hip-hop's most controversial and dope rap groups are putting out another album the dog pound is hitting the studio yet again and this time it seems like the entire band is coming back together in a recent interview corrupt mentioned that dr dre will oversee the album and that snoop dogg will be there to put the project together with his dpg crew this news comes at a good time and will hopefully take some of the spotlight off the late nate dogg sex tape scandal that I don't care to talk about. Let the man rest in peace. When Wiz Khalifa dropped Cushion OJ, it took him to the top of the rap game. Black and Yellow was an undeniable smash record and all was well in the world. Then he dropped his highly anticipated debut album, Rolling Papers. Started dating Amber Rose and then he started dressing weird. Fans were not having it. Immediately they took to the internet to voice their disapproval. In other words, they ripped him a new one. Wiz being the man that he is, got high as a giraffe's tail and responded. He admitted that Rolling Papers was a piece of sh well, not in those words, but you understand. For this, I give him props. He could have went on a childish rant, but instead, he handled it with class and honesty. Was this a wake-up call for Wiz? Will we get to see the hungry MC we once knew and loved? Stay tuned. Aside from keeping my ear to the street, I also discovered new music via my friends who've established A1 credit when it comes to hip hop. Lately, I've been bumping a mixtape called Dirty Middle Class by a rapper named Asad. Ah. Uh. Jumanji flow, young Karoja though, inspired by billionaires, but they my homies though. My homie Ab Lava put me on to this kid who happens to be his cousin. The mixtape is a fresh perspective on inner city living. I say it's how a trendsetter lives in the hood. Check it out. That joke was so corny, uh. That's it from the world of hip hop. To catch the rap report every Wednesday, just subscribe to the Fuse YouTube channel by clicking the logo here.